Hi guys, this is Xiaomin Max, aka Max. Welcome back to another video on the channel. So for today, right, we're gonna be talking about your leaks for your French leak thoughts. How we made so much coins over the past two days because of how our investments were flying. I'm gonna be going in very early on your Syria R investments. Right, the content we'll be seeing for today, the market as well as what to invest in. So yesterday, I actually saw the release of your premium La Liga upgrade and as expected right we or they required 11 gold rares so right now gold rares are currently at 850 coins they're, they're actually insta selling at that price so if you did make the investments as per my tip during one of my trading videos right just list them up at about 1k and they will sell and I actually foresee right them going to minimum right 1k over the next few days, at least up until Thursday. So just make sure that you get out of your gold rest, right? By, I would say, Thursday latest. So, we also got the 81 by 11 La Liga upgrade, right? So it's a 82 rated squad with two 84s required, as well as a 184 rated squad. So I would say right, this is actually a little bit cheaper than I expected because last week right for the Bundesliga one right, we actually got a 82 rated squad and an 85 rated squad right. So this time it's cheaper. So this one comes up to about 53k based on our current fodder prices. And of course right, um, this made 84s fly. I will talk about this a little bit later on it only cost 53k which is actually half the price of the bundesliga upgrade pack um last week so half price we are got we're getting this at and you know this simply tells me that probably the pack weight for this is not that ideal right so the question right now is 84s have flu right can we still invest in 84s i'll talk about 84s right a little bit later on in the video we also got the Kuman SBC, right? Very, very cheap, I would say. Just uh, six segments to complete and half of it is bronze and silver players. So it comes up to about 114k, right? So your tradable Kuman, right? Actually went from 160k down to 115k, which is actually, you know, matching the price of his SBC. So very, very cheap there, you know. You know, not meta, but... Fans of Barca or fans of Kuman, right, probably will get him done. So with that in mind, right, when we are actually talking about your daily icon SBCs, right, how are bronze rares actually currently doing right now? Let's go and take a look. So I believe when I last checked, right, they are actually selling for about 350 coins. Yeah, so they are probably almost insta selling at 350 coins. If you still have bronze rares, Continue listing them up at, I would say, 400 coins and they will probably sell after a couple of listings, right? I don't think that is um, too difficult. So GG's, if you bought them at 150 coins as per my tip in my previous trading videos. So I mentioned about your French leak leaks, right? So let's take a look right now. We have uh, Kim Pembe coming, right? Um, it is not confirmed that he'll be coming whether as a player or as a SBC. My guess is he's probably a SBC. Anyway, right, Kimbembe has always been one of the best defenders in the game, right? We actually call him a auto defender. So I'm sure, right, this version, whether it's a SBC or whether he'll be on the market, be really good as well. So how did this affect his uh, Centrovan's price, right? So with the league, right, yeah, 160. 5k right all the way down to 140k right so you know people are expecting that um this kimpembe right will probably be very good my guess is if it comes as a sbc he's gonna be mad expensive probably and your central Rance version right might actually bounce back so we actually got another leak as well owa again a fifa favorite he's confirmed to be coming as a sbc Right, so the key thing to take note here is he's now Algerian instead of French. Now, of course, right, French links are better, right? It's easier to link your Frenchman. So now that he's Algerian, right, who actually provides that link to Owa, right? Atal. 
right so what happened to atal his price went from 61k all the way up to uh 80 82k right i've seen him selling at about closer to 90k as well so that's a huge huge rise so ggs if you already did your early leg on investments and owa has always been a very good player in fifa as well right so i'm actually looking forward seeing how this version plays in game for tonight right we'll be seeing your mls guaranteed thoughts pack your upgrade pack right no surprises there so expect to see some panic on your mls thoughts i'll pick out a few cards for you guys to trade with in the panic so somebody like vela elmada mokta right these are all good cards for you to trade with while there's actually panic you can you can actually pick them up when the guaranteed pack releases and they actually drop down in price so the question is what will be the requirement for your mls thoughts guaranteed pack right last week for the saudi league it was an 84 rated squad and it costs about 35k so i expect to see something along those lines either 84 rated squad or they can change it to something like an 83 rated squad with uh two times 85 you know something along those lines so what should we invest in so i think right we have a shout in uh, investing in 82s simply because of a combination of your 81 by 11 and the possibility that your mls tots guarantee pack right might be of a lower rating like i mentioned might be an 83 with 2 times 85 so your 82s right or your console players right 950 coins max you can try to pick them up on bit at 850 coins pc players 1.1k max right uh 900 coins on bit your 83s console players 1.7k max 1.5k on bit pc players right 1.5k max and then 1.3k on bit now your 84s can we still invest in 84s i think we definitely can now the key thing to note here is right if you can't come on at content time then don't invest in 84s at all you only invest in 84s right when you can sell the cards on at content time okay so your console players right 5.3k max right try to get him on 5.1k on bit pc players 5.4k max 5.2k on bit your 85s console players right 8.8k max 8.6k on bit pc players 9.1k max 8.9k on bit now your 86s 10250k max for console players right uh, and then 9750 coins on bit pc players 10.5k max 10k on bit your 87s 12k max for your console players 11.5k on bit pc players 12750k max 12250 on bit so you guys might probably ask me right what is my favorite rating so my favorite rating is i probably would go for 84s right i'll go for 84s and then i'll probably pick up a couple of um you know your 85s and 86s as well right so i think those 84s 85s and 86s will probably do really well what are some of the other content that we have we already have a leaked icon sbc right for our daily icon sbc it's gonna be prime roberto carlos a bit unfortunate you know that we are not getting the trophy titans version right so those who have bronze rares and you you guys are able to come on at content drop you can list up your bronze rares at about 450 coins and they probably would sell at that price so question is how much will he cost to know how much he will cost we need to study the price of his tradable version right so last week he was actually peaking at 450k right and he dropped down to about 330k right now his price is about 300k with the trend of how EA has been um, underpricing the cost of these SBCs below their tradable version, my educated guess is he probably will come in at around 250k, right, for his SBC later today. So if you guys stay till this point of the video, right, I want to reward you guys with some of the filters that I have actually found, right? This filter can make you lots of coins and it is especially useful, right? if you actually don't have that much coins right if you're sitting on i would say 
you know, 50k, 100k, you guys want to know how to make coins, right? This is the fastest way right now that I have for you guys. So you just search up Alvaro Garcia. Let's search up, right, his left wing version, how much it is, right? So his left wing version, max price is 4.4k. So what do you do? It's very, very simple. Just go to his left mid version, right? Left mid version is his base version, right? So you just purchase him off the market for 350 coins. Position modify him, right? Via the SBC segment. Don't go and buy your position modifier, right? Whereby you just need to submit a bronze common player and then you can position modify him to the left wing. So list him up for, I would say, 4k. You know, how much coins do you make? You make about 3.3, you know, K per card. So easy. I will give you a few players for you guys to alternate between, right? Uh, we have somebody like Ruben Garcia as well. So all this is the same, right? They are all left mids. Just position modify them to left winger and they will sell. So Ruben Garcia is a little bit uh, lower, right? So I would say, right? Um, position modify him and list him up at about 2.9k. Just do a little bit. Just do a small undercut. Right? And then we have somebody like um, Danny Rodri as well. Danny Rodriguez. Let's see how much he goes for. Alright. So we only have one at 10k. You know, so you basically can do anything you want, right? Again, go and search for the left mid version, right? Position modify him and you make yourself a ton of easy, easy coins. So I would say, right, maybe list him up for about 8k. So just take note, right, don't position modify them and list up 10 to 20 at one time, right? You're just gonna destroy the market on your own. I would say go and position modify 2 to 3 at any one time and then list them up, right? Uh, from your end, there shouldn't be more than 3 of these cards selling from your end. You know, go and list them up, go and play a couple of games and then Come back later and they will definitely um, sell. So I also already mentioned, right, that I would actually be talking about your Italian league investments, right? Inform Teo Hernandez is somebody that I really, really like, right? So if you take a look, right, he has actually gone up slightly, I would say. I remember seeing him at 50k. Yes, he was at 50k. Right now he's at 56k. I still think that it's a good place to invest in, right? Because we will be getting, probably getting a POTS, Tio Hernandez, and he's going to be stupid expensive. So people will go back to his previous version, right? And I think the 86 version still holds up pretty well, right? Of course, we have your 89 and your 88 versions, but I like the 86 version. So for console players, right? Try to pick him up for about 54k, right? 56k is the max price. PC players, right, 45k max. Try to pick him up at about 43k. I think those are good pickups. I also like your 89D Lorenzo's as well, right? He has already went up a little bit, right? He was 25k and he went to 30k. Right now, he's at 36k. Because of your Kilini SBC that was actually released, right? I like him as well. So for console players, right, 36k max. Try to get him for about 34k. PC players, 33k max, try to get him at 31k. So we have somebody like Raspadori as well, right? Um, very good Napoli links, right? We expect to see a couple of Napoli players, right? The thoughts simply because they won the Italian league. So console players, right? 32.5k max, try to get him at 30.5k on beat. 33k max for PC players, 31k on beat. So Lozano is more of a, I would say, left field pick, right? I don't think you have much to lose there simply because he's very cheap, right? So, console players, right? 25750k max. Try to get him at, I would say, 23750k on bid. PC players, right? 29k max. Try to get him 27k on bid. Tamori is also somebody that I really like as well. So, Console players, right, 136k max, try to get him at about 133k. PC players, 126k max, try to get him at 123k on bid. So I just want to caveat something, right, with all these investments, right? There is definitely some sort of risk in this investment simply because we are very, very early on, right, in the investments, right? Uh, Italian League is not happening until next Friday, so we are investing, like, what? 
nine ten days early so just make sure that if you're somebody who can't afford to lose coins right then i say don't invest but most of the times when you invest right you actually need to take a little bit of the risk right so just keep that in mind because we're going to be getting more players even in your french league right that might cause some of the players here that i've talked about to drop a little bit right so i get sbcs as well so just keep that in mind so who's my favorite investment personally right i think Theo hernandez is the best investment along with um d lorenzo simply because of the price point they are at and especially with Theo hernandez the fact that he probably would get a thoughts in the italian league tells me that this version will probably go up by quite a bit so we actually right got this icon cheer pack installed yesterday right the one whereby it contains one mid or prime icon it comes up to about 400k coins and i think 2k or 2.5k fifa points we are probably gonna see the elite icon cheer pack today right the one whereby it's better it gives you a world cup foot birthday or your team of the year icon this one right probably will come up to about maybe 600k 700k coins i wouldn't be surprised and then in terms of fifa points right maybe three three thousand five hundred or four four k fifa points so that is something for you guys to take note of so i want to show you guys the profits that we have been making right over the past two days right everybody in my discord has been making coins right this is from one of my viewers as you can see right it even shows you the percentage this was the initial sale listing whereby i give my discord prices to list out the investments at right 45 minutes before content drop right so they are pretty safe there so this is the second listing as you guys can see right we've been picking them up for i would say i think about um 11k or so right your 87s this is from another one of my viewers 15k for your 87s in of 14.5 to 15k so you know basically everybody in my discord is making coins simply because i provide them the sell price for all these cards and of course when i'm not making trading videos i provide them the buy price so join up the discord while it's still currently free right i don't know what you guys are waiting for and as you guys can see look at all these profits uh your 86s right 13k you know i basically take care of the people in my discord i make sure that everybody makes coins so if you're somebody who wants to make coins, just join up the Discord, right? I have lots of um, good stuff there. All the good stuff are all basically there. So yeah, that's it from me. I've come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, right? Hit that like button. If you guys want to see more training videos, right? I'm going to be doing a player review for Roboto Carlos. And more content on the channel. You know what to do, right? Hit that sub button, all right? And I'm okay, guys.